Wakeboarding can be a dangerous activity, so ride smart, ride safe. One of the most important things about wakeboarding, when you, whether you're wake jumping or doing big maneuvers, is the approach. When getting air, there's three main points. Pull out wide, make a nice easy turn. Number two, nice progressive cut all the way to the wake so your hardest point of your cut is at the top of the wake. Number three, get ready for some air. Popping, rising, it's all basically the same thing. Once you establish a good quality edge and you learn to pop or rise through the top of the wake, that's, those are the two basic keys are the formula for big air tricks and success. Whatever you do in the air, make sure that before you land, you get your board back underneath you and pointed in the direction you're headed so fins can do their job. Flow into your landings. No matter what trick you do and you want to keep your handle down, and your hips up, because the position you leave the wake, it's the position you're going to land. Going big gives you more hang time for a stylish grab or tweak. Do a twister, let your lower body spin away while staying tight with the upper body. When you twist your hips, the board will follow. Use the handle to bring it back around. Stalling a big 180 and waiting late takes big cojones. Don't go for a full-on grab your first few tries. Spot the rail and try a slap with an open hand. Kick your board up to lose speed fast. When you really rip, grabs can be done with inverted moves. Check out the Indy Tantrum. Clean Dean Lavelle earns his name with a smooth method front flip. Wakeboard originally grew from surfing, and the moves show it. Power carves can get deep, 